Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today we're going to talk about Gorilla Man. But first, this Gorilla Man has to apologize for the lateness of this video. I had issues. My power supply in my computer died, so I actually had to drive to the store. I was I literally tried. It came to the, to my desk. I tried to turn on my computer to start making videos at around four o'clock, and I couldn't. So I had to drive to the store, buy a new power supply, drive back, and then I had to fumble my way through uh, installing it. So that's why we are late. Also. Gorilla Man, I have no idea how good he is. I literally did not get a single second to play with him during the test server because I was so busy with Cable, with Lady Deadpool, with Apocalypse, and even Slapstick and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And Gorilla Man is the only completely sort of free-to-play, easily uh, unlocked and easily ranked up character. So for the uh, starting point uh, in terms of how to get him, how to unlock him, you basically just have to get your hands on some biometrics, whether you're getting them from Shadowland, where you, whether you're getting them from Login events or whether you're getting them from the Alliance store, get yourself some biometrics and you will be able to unlock him. Because he's so easy to unlock, a la someone like Swordmaster, you don't want to use rank up tickets, mega rank up tickets, mega tier 2 tickets, um, unless you've got, you know, dozens of them, unless you're like, you know, super stacked on those uh, items, because they're much better saved for... Um, and they're much more useful to be used on characters like Slapstick and rarer characters in the game. Um, as far as Gorilla Man, he doesn't seem to have changed much from the test server, except his passive, I believe, has been knocked down at tier 2 from 50% to 40%. Oh no, it's still 50%. Um, but they added a heal. Uh, we talked about it in the, in the patch notes. They added a heal to his uh, third skill, and they also bumped up the damage on all of his skills. So I'm actually curious to see how he plays here at tier 1. Uh, we gave him Power of Angry Hulk, ISO waits it because he needs the attack speed, or I think I think he needs the attack speed because he doesn't have any attack speed buffs. He's a little bit overcapped on cooldown, he's a little bit undercapped on ignore defense, but I just want to take him into a little bit of Shadowland content before we go ahead and tier 2 him um, to see how he can do at tier 1, to see if he's even worthwhile to, uh, you know, rank up. Alright, well, this is just stage 1 in Shadowland, but we're just trying to see how good he is, you know, what kind of CC he has, what kind of effects he has. He's got an iframe on 5 there with the debuff. The third skill is going to give him the uh, self buffs and the invincibility, and then he's going to go around. Okay, four seems to have decent damage there. He hasn't gotten hit yet, but he does have the heal that you see pops up. Uh, so you got iframe on five. You can sort of hide through that. You've got invincibility on four. You just have to not get debuffed by someone. You got an iframe on two as well. You got a little bit of an just a small iframe at the beginning of one, which is kind of weird. Four doesn't have an iframe at all, so you probably want to do. Um, something like five and then you you know you hit him you hit him you drop those things and then you do three cancel into four That would probably make the most sense You're not gonna get guard broken because you got the super armor from the invincibility uh, And then you can splash one and two as you need it um, The nice thing about gorilla man I will say is you can notice all of his skills have really short cooldown So you're pretty much always doing something with him. You're not gonna have to stand around. You're not gonna have to um uh, kite or do anything like that. There's always a skill that you can use. Now, you're not always going to be iframing. He's not like a dodge machine in that sense, but he's got pretty high HP as well. You can see I'm already at 27,000 uh, just at tier 1, 50, gear 15, no obelisk. So he can definitely uh, be tanky because he also has, remember, he has that third skill heal um, to help him even more. So let's go in tier 2 him now and see what's up. So normally when I need to rank up a character, I would go into my gift box and I would look for either maintenance rewards or I would look for other uh, biometric selectors that I've just saved up over time, over the years, over the months of purchasing stuff in-game and I would unlock and I would use them like this, but I actually went and I bought the Deadpool's bomb chest five times. It's a, it's a three or four dollar purchase and you get two chests and you get 330 crystals or 300 crystals. So I bought it and I wanted to open them up and see what I get. You can get Domino Bios, you can get Gorilla Man Bios, you can get Energy you can get up to I think 10 million gold or a million gold and you can also if you're lucky you can get a mega rank up ticket so let's see what I get here you guys can also see the value of these things on top of the crystals so I got 50 bios 200 energy not so good right now uh, there we got a million gold not bad I want to see some gorilla man bios okay phoenix feathers is really awful especially because they didn't change the cap there we got 50 gorilla man bios not bad another million gold so it's 2 million gold, 3 million gold, not bad. 100 Domino Bios, I would love to see 100 Gorilla Man Bios. You can also get 400 Bios. Okay, so yeah, 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 I don't know. Like I got like 500 energy, 3 million gold, and like 200 biometrics. So that's not going to be enough for Gorilla Man. So I'm going to use the maintenance reward. Honestly, I think iOS should have gotten way more than 100 energy and 100 biometrics. Uh, for what happened, but I also understand that apparently the bug was not uh, Netmarble's fault. 
Now, again, I, I can't say with absolute certainty because I, I don't know, but um, from, what I've, from what I understand, from what other people have told me, um, a lot of iOS games were having problems and had to have delayed maintenance, or a lot of games on iOS had delayed maintenance on the same day. So it's kind of a weird coincidence that Marvel Future Fight's not the only game that had massive iOS delays only and not Android delays. That to me smells like it's uh, Apple's fault. It's Tim Apple's fault. But anyways, we got 420 bios. I didn't even do that on purpose. I swear to God, that's just how it ended, ended up being. Let's see um, if we can uh, get, you know, if we can finish off his gears. Hopefully we can. Uh, I've got, you know, way more than enough... Uh, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, dimension, dimension debris, and gear up kits. So I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about the gold. I just have to worry about the bios. We've only spent three so far. Eight is also pretty nice. Not bad. Okay, let's see what else we're gonna get here. Uh, three. Okay, we're doing pretty well so far. Not bad. If if all of these go like this, on average, I think you spend about three hundred and fifty. Twenty eight's garbage. Uh, yeah, that's that's not good. But anyways, let's keep going. Um, so if, if I if I started off with 420 and on average we spent about 350 I should expect to have about 70 bios left Unfortunately 70 bios left is not gonna let me tier 2 him naturally um, But I would probably use a tier 2 ticket on him anyways, you know the nice thing about uh, Marvel future fight slowing down the number of characters in each update, you know They're only, they're only adding three new characters per update for the past like seven or eight updates is they give you one uh, tier 2 ticket per month and they, they actually wait a little bit more than a month. So you're actually getting more than one tier 2 ticket per month in relation to the number of characters. So, you know, uh, you can use those uh, and not actually run out. So I've actually been able to stockpile like four or five of them. We've spent about 200 bios so far. Just under 200 bios. It's a, li it's a lot. It's a lot. But let's see here. Uh, 12. Not bad. Not bad. Um, and I'm, I'm actually curious, honestly. Like, uh, I haven't I haven't paid much attention to free to play characters in a while. I didn't even really do a video about Swordmaster either. So uh, maybe it'd be a nice comparison: Gorilla Man versus Swordmaster, and we can see update over update um, which one's better. Now, Swordmaster has uh, all defense down, which definitely does make him possibly more valuable. But I was just frustrated with the way that Swordmaster played because you couldn't cancel his fifth skill. It was just annoying. I think that really goes into a lot of the enjoyment of playing a character is whether you have fun whether like you know am I gonna have fun with their their skills like Cable's a strong character but he's fun to play and that's really an important thing that sort of gets it's it's it gets lost in the in the shuffle but it also is harder to explain so there we go we got the last 120 that was 60 bios that leaves us I think with 50 so 50 bios left means we were yeah 50 bios so we were a little bit over we ended up spending 370 bios but it's it's pretty consistent saying that you're gonna spend on average about 350 <laughs> Sorry about that. So without having the, the 100 bows, without wanting to spend all that other stuff, we're just going to go ahead and use a tier 2 ticket. Like I said, I've got four. We're only getting three characters per update. So the chances of me actually using all of these up um, are slim. And November's just about to finish anyway. So we're, I'm going to be getting another tier 2 ticket soon. Let me just check this real quick. He gets 5,000 physical attack. That's actually a lot of physical attack going from tier 1 to tier 2. He gets 17,000 HP. That's pretty crazy. I think that 17,000 HP is also because of the immortal gorilla uh, that's also because of his tier 2 passive or his, his tier 1 passive going to tier 2 ape instinct so plus 50% HP um, as far as his skills go you don't really have to level any of them up to level 6 except for roar of the gorilla because you want to get those buffs uh, to them to the maximum level it doesn't affect the heal it doesn't affect the invincibility but it does affect the um, all attack all defense buff we don't have any uru we're not gonna worry about that right now we're in the top 500 already no one cares about gorilla man Harambe, rest in peace. But almost 20, um, well, uh, 21,000 physical attack, 46,000 HP. So this boy is tanky as all hell. Let's take him into a low level shadow, uh, low level world boss, and see what's up. So it's more important now than ever to not use strikers when you're testing characters out. We're gonna give him just a 30% physical attack bonus, um, and we're also going to give him the. Uh, Oh, wow, his fourth skill got canceled? What the hell was that? We're going to give him the Valkyrie buff. Um, I don't know what that was. His fourth skill got canceled really quickly. Um, now, it seems like he's got some pretty decent damage. Three has damage. Four has damage. It seems like all of his skills just do pretty decent damage. Uh, it seems pretty consistent. But, of course, this is a pretty low level, so we're not we're not expecting too much. But he has no Obelisk. He's just got a stage 6 ISO 8 set. But you can see here, like... You know, you're not you're not gonna expect this guy to blow you to blow the moon away, right? 
but it's a pretty consistent rotation. Let's see what the heal looks like. We got hit. Um, the Oh, there we go. So he just basically pops off. It pops off multiple times as well. I think for every time he bumps his chest. Let's get hit a little bit more and see um, how that heal is. Let's lose a little bit more HP sort of intentionally. It's not bad. It's not bad. Fifth skill is going to give me the... Never mind, I died. So really quickly, we went back and we gave him a dodge crit damage 160 proc. Now I would prioritize crit damage over crit rate for Gorilla Man because he has 30% guaranteed crit rate. So even though that doesn't show up in the details page, you can see he's only at 36% crit rate. He will still have an additional 30% chance to crit if you miss on the first try. So it's better to bump up his crit damage. He will still crit a lot. He'll crit more than someone will with 36% because he has an additional 30% guaranteed um, and then we also gave him a couple of ignore defense urus but nothing else just to get that ignore defense up to a minus 50% now let's jo go jump back into a harder world boss stage all right so we're back here in Cincinnati guys let's see how he does we're gonna do three four look at the proc okay not too hot we're gonna pop the five okay maybe we didn't actually want to do five but uh Okay, we procced on four. We don't want to proc on four now that I think about it. Um, so let's do... Let's try to proc on five. Let's see what happens. Okay, we completely missed that proc. Okay, it activated accidentally. So he, he has some issues t He has some issues timing his damage proc for sure. Let's see what happens here with five. Okay, not too hot. Maybe procking on four is just a better option for him overall. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not, not great, but not bad either. Yeah, he just doesn't have a lot of hits. Doesn't have a lot of hits. I, I, I might not want to recommend... Uh, yeah, man, he just doesn't He doesn't hit. He doesn't hit, have enough hits. You'd think it would proc on five, but, like, I've skipped so many procs. Yeah, this is just... This damage is just not that consistent. Because um, he can't he can't proc. And Strikers ain't going to fix that. The, the Actually, yeah, that's not bad. The damage on 4 was pretty good. For stage 35, is not bad, actually. But he's easy to play. That's the thing. You can kind of face tank. You can, like, semi-face tank as well. Yeah, it's not bad. You kind of want the 5th skills, the, the, those, those things to drop down as well. You kind of want to end 5 and go 3, cancel 4. I think that's kind of nice. Because you get the electricity as well. So I think that's kind of nice. Uh, so that it drops down. You do that. Nah, that's not that's not bad. That's like close to half a bar. That's really not half bad. And you can cancel three right away, which is the nice thing. So yeah, not not bad, not bad. I think um, on the one hand, is he? Uh, oh, we're gonna die here again. On the one hand, oh 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 oh, we escaped. We escaped from the zoo. He's slow though. Damn. I mean, it makes sense. He's a gorilla, right? He's slow. Oh, okay, but we can do that third skill and get that heal right away. Um, on the one hand, I think he's 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 a lot smoother to play than someone like Swordmaster. Swordmaster just honestly felt clunky to play because of the fact that you couldn't cancel his fifth skill. He just wasn't smooth. Like there's just like smoothness. I don't I don't really know how to describe smoothness. But Gorilla Man's got smoothness. Is he an amazing character? No. Is he like godly damage? Uh, probably not. Maybe if you slap on strikers with the new world boss changes, he will be. Um, but you know he's pretty he's pretty good. I think. You know, he's definitely uh, a lot better than most combat characters in Marvel Future Fight. That's not saying a lot, because it's, 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 uh, it's not a difficult, uh, you know, it's not a high bar. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's not a high bar to, um, to, to reach, but he's, he's, not, he's not hard. Uh, or sorry, he is hard to kill. He's not, he's not that weak. He's, he's kind of tanky, and you heal for like six or 8,000 every time uh, you get hit. So it's, not, it's really not bad. Yeah, you pop that off for 8,000 every time. So it's not bad. It's just the damage is inconsistent. So I think you might be better off giving him, like, um, you know, a CTP of Transcendence or something like that. Just just don't expect huge things from him. Um, but I think he can put in some work. Not bad. He died again, though. A la Harambe. All right, guys. So let me know what you think of Gorilla Man. I'm not super plussed. I'm not blown out of the water. But he seems pretty fun to play. He seems pretty smooth to play, in my opinion. His skills just kind of go together. They're swinging this way. There's movement speed that way. So it just kind of keeps it fresh when you're when you're going around. And you got to admit, it's pretty unique. You know, a giant gorilla running, shooting a laser beam. I don't, we don't have a lot of that in Marvel Future Fight. So it's a, it's kind of a, 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 a fresh take on a, the combat class, which is pretty stale, um, besides more recent stuff. Recently, we've been getting a lot of good combat types, but pretty much anything beyond, anything earlier than 2019, 
has been pretty stale for combat types. So this is pretty nice. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think of the comparison to Swordmaster because I think Swordmaster might hit a little bit harder with the all defense down especially, but Gorilla Man's doing that without all defense down. So I think with Strikers, and again, Strikers skew things like crazy now, but with Strikers, he might be able to go pretty damn high, and he's got the self heals, um, so he might not be a he might not be a, a bad addition to your roster. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see next on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.